All right, y'all. Up in the gate. I'm over here at Crow's Truck Center in Memphis, Tennessee. Um, all these people out here parked. You know, they paying rent. I just called a lady because I bought the trailer. And, well, I ain't got it yet, but I'm, I'm about to meet with the guy. He about to come over here and uh, we do our business. But uh, our business with, you know, with the truck. I give him the money. He give me the trailer. That sort of thing. And then, um... But anyway, I called a lady and asked her how much would it be if I could park out here, like just a just a van. She said 170, but it's like 90 some people on the list. Uh, but anyway, that's what Crow's got going on. I'm gonna go over here and look at this trailer while he's not here. He hadn't made it yet. All right, y'all. So another thing is, I called this company yesterday, H and P, in Olive Branch, and uh, the guy was telling me I was asking him what the process was to like get a trailer. He was like, I gotta fill out a credit app, and then I gotta get on a waiting list. So I was asking him about the price. He said it'd be anywhere from like 400 to 700 a month, roughly, right? So it just depends on some things. And I'm like, okay. I got off the phone. I'm like, no, nah, I want my own trailer starting out. I don't even want to put my money into anything that's not going to be mine. That's why I'm at in life. It's been like that for a while, ever since like rent. Uh, been jumping up on these apartments and stuff. I'm like, no, nah, that's the reason why I, I just said, look, let me just go and get a house. But... The house situation is on pause because it's like, what you gonna do? You gonna get the house, you gonna get your own authority. And you know, I probably could do both, but the thing is, I wanna focus on one thing at a time. I wanna make sure I do well with having my own authority. So I, I wanna put all my money, like just in case some things happen, I wanna have it allocated to like my, my business, my trucking business. The house gonna come, the house will come. But this right here, we gotta get all this situated. Yes, yes, we in there. Old Snyder trailer, now my trailer. All right, and uh, I got it up here on the uh, on the yard where they they repair trailers and stuff like that. So I'm going to. Uh, it's been up here like a month, almost a month, almost a month, and um, they doing some work on it for me. Uh, they fixed the roof. I'm gonna show y'all the before and after. And also, he had it ready today. I told him I also wanted some. Uh, DOT stickers right here on the side you know these kind of messed up a little bit so I told him to go ahead and put that on there you know and also on the other side I think it was a little worse but let me show y'all the inside of the trailer y'all pay no mind to these ashy hands they're gonna be ashy in the next clip too don't even worry about it man your business <laughs> so uh, here we go that's the repair. Let me give y'all a closer look. Okay. So I had a little hole there. Like I said, I'm going to show y'all a little before. And uh, it reeks real bad of, I don't know, animals or something, something like some dogs or dog food. It, it just it stinks. I want to air it out. But that's not important. The important thing is they got the leak fixed. And uh, I think this right here going to be a little problem too. So I want them to put like some rubber up there or check that out, make sure it ain't leaking. I don't want nothing to get on the freight, even though I got cargo insurance, we don't want no problems, okay? The ABS lights was an issue, so they're supposed to fix that. I told them to look at that. Um, that was about it. We're gonna see what happens after that. We're gonna let it ride. So this is what it looked like when I first bought the trailer. It was kind of damaged right there. The guy said it was repaired, but I already knew that it was. It looked like they tried to patch it up, but yeah, it just didn't work. So I went and took it on up there to the uh, trailer repair guy. And uh, I told him I wasn't in a rush. That's why he kept it that long. But that's that. So I took it through the wash right after I got it. That's how I found out that it was leaking. But it wasn't a bad leak. Nonetheless, it's fixed. What's going on, y'all? So, bought me a 2005 drive in trailer. And I uh, got it off Facebook Marketplace. And the guy was selling it for like 25000 But I got it for $23,500. Y'all already know 23.5 was his real price. He just jacked the price up. Like we all do. You gotta go above the price you really wanted for because people gonna try to talk you down. So we got it down to 23.5. I was satisfied with it immediately because the trailers, other trailers I've had been seeing was like uh 40,000, 60,000. I'm like, oh my god, I'll never get one. But this trailer came at the right time, and I tell y'all, God came through this time. I mean, you all always come through. You always come through, but Everything was on time. Everything fell in line, y'all. 
everything fell in line. That's why I look. I don't be upset about, you know, whenever some stuff start happening, y'all, I know it's something better coming. I know it is. I know it is. We got to go through the motions, baby. You got to be able to swim at life. I be swimming. I be swimming. <laughs> Somebody throw me a life jacket. Listen, I went to the bank because I didn't want to give, like, I didn't want to pay twenty three five for that trailer. So I went to the bank trying to get a loan, right? I wanted to pay half my money and then half the other, you know, the other, the rest from the bank, right? They didn't want to give it to me. They said, we need to see proof of, you know, your, your um, weekly checks or something like that. And I think they wanted to see how much money I made last year. I had that. And I'm like, you know, get direct deposit every week. You see, you see it. You're looking at it. And then they wanted uh, the tax filings. And I'm like, you know what? I don't have time for this. You know, I just, I need to go get this trailer for somebody else to get it. So what they was talking about was going to push me back some days. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just use my money. And uh, I did take some money out of the line of credit, okay? But for the most part, I used my money. And then, how about they denied me at first? Then, after I spent the money and all that, they sent me, uh, like, some loan information, approval for a loan in my email, like, a week later. You could have just gave it to me in the beginning. It's business, not personal. I get it. But now I'm looking for a business beneficial bank because, you know, that was a dire situation. And what if I didn't have a line of credit? You know, um, what if I didn't have the money in my bank account? You know, it, it could have been, it just could have went all wrong. But for the most part, like, everything worked out just the way it was supposed to work out. So I ain't complaining about that. I'm just, I'm just sharing that with y'all. It's not an issue. It's not It's not a big deal. Now, does it hurt my pockets to give away that type of money? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Anything over three, I start getting nervous. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like three or two or one. You know, who want to give away money? So, um, that's that. Got the drive-in trailer. Got the authority. I'm waiting on my decals, my IFTA stickers. Um, I didn't... I wasn't focused on that. The only thing y'all I'm telling y'all I was focused on was that thing saying authorized. That's what I was focused on the most. Everything else, I said, I'll get it later. And I didn't know it would take, like, probably a week or two before I get my, my stickers. Hopefully it'll come before that, but <sighs> that's where we at, y'all. We, we doing good out here. I, I got to admit, we doing good out here. I got to get my money back up. Um... If, you, if you're thinking about getting your own authority in the future, save your money now. Because, you know, you're going to probably want your trailer. That's why I said in one of my other videos, I think it's, are you thinking about being an owner-operator? I think that was the title. I remember saying in that video, if you want your own authority, get your trailer while you leased on to another company or while you're a company driver or whatever. Just don't wait till the time comes like I did. Or you're going to be looking, looking crazy in the face. You ain't going to want to give away that type of money. At least I didn't. But somebody made a comment one time in my comment section, and they was right. I didn't think about it like that at first. I did a video showing rider trucks and how expensive they had got. I think they were like $50,000 and high mileage and all that, which I still don't agree with it. But if you could find a deal on the truck, I don't need to looking at the price right now because ain't no telling what it'll be next month or the month after that. Don't look like nobody coming down on anything, so... Might as well get it. But the comment said, don't look at a few pennies and miss out on some dollars or something like that, he said. But it, it, whatever, whatever he said, it made sense. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Let me correct something real quick, y'all. I said go and get it. I mean, if your money is right and your situation is good, then, then go for it, I would say. But, um, like I said, you got to be smart about your moves out here. I personally would not buy a truck if it's in the 60s and 70,000 and then the, the mileage on it is extremely high. I wouldn't do it. That's just me, though. But because you can find a truck still, it's going to be a used truck for a cheaper price. And the mileage may be high, but you can work around it, I think. Um, but anyway, I'm not an expert and I'm not trying to give y'all... Um, 
you know, no advice. I'm just telling y'all, I was just trying to clear that up, okay? All, all I know is what I will do. So, anyway, I'm over here at the truck. The other day, I took off, like, some decals off the truck. Let me show y'all. So, I got to send them a picture. But, anyway, I messed my truck up a little bit right there. I hate that. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, may put some paint on there or something. Not me. Get somebody else to do it. Coat over it and then put the, the decals on there. But, yeah. Got to get the other side off. It's too cold to do it today. It's not budging. I did try it, but, yeah. All right, y'all, so one more thing. In a future video, I'll explain the process of how me and the guy, uh, you know, handled the paperwork and all, you know, about the bill of sale and, uh, you know, the title and all that, getting it changed over. Just all of that, y'all, you know, it's not nothing like uh, too difficult. It's very simple. But, um, yeah, I'll share that in a future video. But if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Hit the notification bell if you want to be one of the first to see the videos. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Be safe.